Honda's IndyCar teams rolled into Texas Motor Speedway hoping to put a disappointing Motown weekend in the rearview mirror and get back to Indy type success. Qualifying for Saturday night's 600 kilometer high bank battle, Honda's drivers found some relief along with plenty of speed. Young gun Joseph Newgarden driving his Sarah Fisher Hartman 67 car sporting a very cool paint scheme nearly grabbed the pole. Newgarden will start from the front row Saturday night for the first time ever on an oval, lapping TMS at nearly 218 miles an hour. I knew we would be strong, but I didn't think we were going to be that strong. And uh, for us, we really focused on race running on the first practice. You only get about an hour before qualifying and then 30 minutes after qualifying to get ready for the race. So for us, the priority is finding out how the car is in traffic, how the tires degrade. And as we put our emphasis on, we didn't even do a qualifying run uh, before, before actually qualifying the thing. We didn't try it out. And, Ended up being pretty quick. I think we were even on the conservative side, so just really happy with the speed. The Honda was super quick, and they've done a great job, and just proud of the whole SFHR crew. IndyCar adjusted the technical rules going into the weekend, allowing teams to add downforce if they wished, and that's added an element of chance to this Texas race. The Grand Prix of Indianapolis winner Simon Pagino wasn't phased. He'll go from the outside of row three on Saturday night. You know, in these qualifying runs, you try to take as much downforce as you can. We took everything we had out of the race car, so it was very light, uh, you know, it was sliding over the place, but that's the fastest way for two laps, and, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, very confident for the race, though, and uh, the Honda package has been, uh, has been strong so far. So let's cross finger and see where we start and go, go, go forward. Britain Justin Wilson is the only current Honda driver with a Texas win on his resume. He took honors here back in 2012. Even though he'll have to come from row four, Wilson is smiling about his chances and his Honda engine. Yeah, we're definitely sliding around out there. It's, it's a handful, but you know, it doesn't really count. Qualifying is more of an ego thing. Come back for the race. It's trying to look after the tires, make them last, and cut in and out of traffic, and that's what it's all about. Indy 500 champion Ryan hunter Ray was second here a year ago. He struggled so far this Texas weekend, and he will start 12th. We had a great run here last year. We finished second. No reason why we can't do that again this year. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board here, try and make the car a little bit better than it was in qualifying, but... We'll see. It's, uh, it's going to be tricky for everybody tomorrow night. This year's Texas run is longer, 600 kilometers. With temperatures likely in the middle 80s even at night, Honda's IndyCar teams have quite a challenge ahead. The event goes green just before 9 o'clock Eastern on Saturday night. At Texas Motor Speedway, I'm Rick Benjamin, Honda Racing HPD Trackside.